Coogan Cash is here at the Printworks in Manchester for the weigh-in for rock and roll. Gavin Reeves versus Anthony Crawler with me. I have trainer to Gavin Reeves, Sir Gary Lockett. You like that? I can get used to that. Gavin's just weighed in. Uh, are you pleased with his conditioning? Yeah. Yeah, I think he looks. Um, I mean, his body shape looks better than ever. I think his um, his diet's been really good. You know, he got his weight down a lot sooner. I think it was um, because he he'd not really been out of the gym. He's more than a pound under, which is um, not disappointing, but. Could add a bit of an extra drink and an extra cup of tea or something, but um, no, you look good. You look really good. Is this the you 100% believe this is the right fight for Gavin to have after the Adrian Broner defeat? Natural progression, I think. You know, obviously, um, obviously Anthony, um, he was he was doing really well, wasn't he? Um, after he beat John Watson, beat Willie Lamond, and he had the shock against um, Derry Matthews. You know, a couple of lacklustre performances, but then you know his last performance against Derry with the draw, I think he boxed really well. So I think it's a good test for Gavin. Um, obviously, he's a massive favourite, but you know we can't um, we can't underestimate Anthony Crawler. He looks in, in good shape, and uh, we know that he's going to be fit for the 12 rounds, and he's obviously coming to win. So yeah, it's going to be a good fight, I'm sure. Mentally, how long did it take Gavin to get over that Adrian Brown defeat? About uh, about five minutes. He's a naturally um, confident guy. He's old school, you know. He, he doesn't moan about anything just gets on with it, does what he's told and um, you know he's um, I think he sometimes you just have to admit that you fought an elite fighter you know and if he <coughs> excuse me if he if he'd had a sh the shot against any of the other champions then he'd have probably had a 50 50 chance but I think it you know in the ring with Broner it became quickly obvious that um, he wasn't really going to win the fight which is why I pulled him to save him for another day but um, no he's uh, he's supremely confident in himself all right Gary Thank you very much for talking to us. It's a pleasure. And I've just got one more thing to say to you. That motherfucker fan, Broner. <laughs> <laughs> you should have put that on the last interview. Good. I know what it is now. Thanks. Okay.